Riding the Rails with Rail Explorers Rhode Island. We're riding on these special bikes that ride on old train tracks that really aren't used much anymore. And you have to pedal your way along the tracks. It's actually easier than you would think because they're geared somehow to make it easy to pedal. So we're going three miles down the tracks this way. We'll have about a half an hour break at the end at a little picnic area. And then it's three miles back for a total of about six miles. I did this a couple of years ago uh, at sunset and the views were spectacular. Unfortunately today it's a little overcast so we're not getting much of a sunset. Rail Explorers Rhode Island Division is located at 1 Alexander Road in Portsmouth. There are two excursions available. We're doing the Southern Circuit, but there's also the Northern Ramble, which is six miles one way with a shuttle bus ride back to where you started. This is what you'll see when you arrive. There's a huge parking lot with plenty of parking. Check in with the friendly staff at the desk here. There's also a gift shop with some Rail Explorers merch. While your crew gets your bikes ready, you can relax here. Most of our adventures are free or a very little cost. So this one is a little bit different. There is a cost involved here. It's $85 for a tandem bike or whatever you want to call this thing. And I think it's 150 or 175 for a quad. Check the prices on the website, which we'll put a link in the description below. So there is a cost involved here. It's about, I think, 30 to $40 per person, depending on how many people you have with you. And there are discounts if you have, I think, more than 10. So check the website for current prices. Rail Explorers also has divisions in the Catskills, Cooperstown, and Las Vegas. Definitely check out their website for more details. After a quick safety briefing, you're loaded onto your bikes. And after a quick brake check and photo op, you're on your way. Bikes are easy enough for just about anybody to pedal. They're geared a certain way so that it's not too hard to pedal. But it's three miles and you don't want to forget that, so pace yourself. No, it's not a race. You obviously can't get lost, and the tracks are at a relatively flat grade, making it pretty easy to pedal. You have about 30 minutes at Bayside Station, so relax and enjoy the view while your crew turns the bikes around for the return trip. After three miles, you take a break at this picnic area, so you can bring food and drinks with you. And they also, if it's at night, or I don't know if they do this during the day, but they have a fire going. And sometimes they have marshmallows, but it's a good idea to bring your own, just in case.
supposed to be a sunset uh, rail excursion, but unfortunately we've got a cloudy day. So, so much for a beautiful sunset, but we've done this before at this time and it's spectacular. The sunset is beautiful. And sitting in these Adirondack chairs along Narragansett Bay is really quite spectacular. So if you can come here in the evening, that way it's not too hot during the day. And if you can come in the fall, it's a really good thing to do kind of right around Columbus Day or earlier if you can swing it. Even small dogs can ride. Check the website for details. If you book the Sunset Tour, the ride back is in the dark, which is super fun. Best part is coming back in the dark and going full speed ahead. Visit RailExplorers.net for more information. This was our second time here and it has definitely become a family favorite. Continue exploring with us by clicking on one of these great videos. At South Shore Family Adventures, we're on a mission to share the best hiking trails and adventures the South Shore has to offer. If you have a suggestion for a place we should check out, leave us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.